Hi, I'm Andre, the founder of Ziba BI, and I'm so excited today that I can show you a brand new visual, Zebra BI cards. Now, what is the very first information that managers want to see in their dashboards? It's the performance of their KPIs. The status of key performance indicators versus a plan, a target, a goal, or a benchmark is the starting point of every data exploration process. Yet, for some reason, KPI cards traditionally employ the poorest data visualization methods in BI tools out there. Um, just think about those big annoying numbers, speedometers, and the like that provide zero or very little context. Today, we are changing all that with the Zebra BI cards visual and are giving you the missing tool that will make your KPI dashboard super actionable. Let me show you how it works. So, let me start by adding the Zebra BI Cards visual onto the Power BI page. Make it slightly bigger. And we'll drop in some data for several KPIs. So I'll just drop my KPIs into the grouping field, and boom, what I've got is basically the uh, big annoying numbers. <laughs> all right, so. I see the value of all of my KPIs, and I think I have quite a lot of them, probably 50 of them. And I see the values, but this is not actionable. Uh, is this good? Is this bad? Which KPIs um, are achieving the target? Uh, which KPIs not? I don't know until I add a comparison. So let's start by adding the value of the previous year. Okay, now I understand uh, the cards will calculate the growth rates from the previous year and will also give me uh, a visual representation of the comparison. Let's continue with the plan. Okay, to make this even more valuable, now I have the comparison to previous year and comparison to plan. And now I can see that, for example, the uh, download rate is you know, below the plan. Uh, we have some KPIs that are much above the plan and so on. It's very obvious on the first look, so it's very understandable and you can quickly understand the situation for uh, KPIs. Now, the uh, chart on the cards, uh, you can change it anytime, so let's try a few more options. So this would be a nice option. Uh, it's sort of a bullet chart, right? And it's a, a really nice option to visualize the comparison between the actual value and a plan. And also in this case, um, it also shows the value of the previous year in this little marker here. So it basically visualizes all the data that you have here. And even if you turn the chart off, so let's try to suppress the chart from, from the cards, uh, the cards are quite actionable uh, because the uh, icons that are used are scaled uh, to the extent of the variance. So uh, here I have a very little dot, red dot here, because we are basically just 0.5% below the plan, whereas here where we have 17.9% variance of the plan, the icon is very big, which is a simple thing that will guide the user's attention to the KPIs that actually need attention, right? Um, so even if you don't use the charts, if you use just basic cards, Zebra BI will help you understand where the action is needed. Okay, what type of action is needed? Well, let's continue. So let's show the chart back and this time I'll add some more information. You can add trends, so let me bring in the month data field into the trend placeholder here and maybe the uh, switch the visualization to let's try the area chart. This is a nice option to visualize the trends uh, compared to previous years. So now every card has its own trend visualized in this uh, chart. And now I can also understand not just, you know, how much are we below or above the plan, but also is the gap 
um, shrinking or is it expanding, right? So this little trend information gives you further context to better understand the data and then plan your decision. Now the uh, Zero BI Cards visual is insanely flexible. What do I mean by that? You can resize any card. So let's this make this one bigger. Wow. So within uh, the, the uh, dashboard, I can actually resize any card, make one bigger, make it smaller, so you can have very small cards. Uh, you can make uh, cards very um, high, but, but still narrow, and so on. Uh, next, you can change the grid settings, of course. So let's try to make a more extreme example here. So I'll make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I have six cards in a row. All right, and let's check the download rate here. Okay, so you resize them. You can move them around anytime. Very easy. So it's very easy to set your custom order that you need for your KPIs. Next, you can change the chart type by simply clicking on our signature chart slider here. Uh, so, okay, this waterfall chart is maybe nice for, for bigger cards because it clear, clearly shows you the achievement um, versus goal. So it's a very nice option here. Okay, now I'm probably wondering why is the download rate going down? Okay, time to bring in another data field. All right, what would the manager really love to see here? A comment explaining why is the trend going down. So let's bring in the comments. The uh, visual allows you to add dynamic comments, right? And will properly display those comments um, linked to specific uh, period uh, in your data and of course to a specific KPI. All right. And this of course is completely dynamic, so it will change with your data if you have any filters, slices on your report, the uh, comments will change. Now the user can simply hover with his mouse and he will see the comment in the tooltip or put this card, just click here, put this card in, into the focus mode where all the information will be presented, you know, um, on a bigger screen real estate, showing all the comments here on the right side so I can now fully understand what's going on, take action. All right, now um, the KPIs are kind of a tricky thing in, in Power BI because you can have good KPIs and you can have bad KPIs. So let's find one. So for example, average cost per customer. Let me make this one slightly bigger. All right, let's try the uh, waterfall chart again. All right, so the cost is growing. It's much bigger than my plan. Is this good or bad? Well, it's actually bad. Um, so I need to tell this card that, you know, this, this is a bad KPI. If, if it's growing, it should be red. So let's put this card into focus more, mode one more time. And now you'll find a lot of actions here. So first of all, click here to invert a KPI from now on. Zebra BI cards visual knows that this is a bad KPI and will invert the colors. Next, um, you can individually set the number format, which is uh, really problematic in, in Power BI if, if you have lots of KPIs and so on, handling all those different units and uh, you know number formats um, is quite a challenge. So we are just bringing it directly to the visual. So out of the box, you can simply say this is in, in dollars or this is a percentage or um, and, and, and so on, right? So now I have a proper visualization here. Um, by clicking on the elements on the card, you can also change the display or customize the display. So now I understand that we are X percent below the plan or something like that. But if you click on this uh, element, on the variance, uh, you can 
flip it to the absolute variance or flip the display to um, just show both variances at once. So every user can do this either in the design mode or in the view mode. Next thing, you can also show just the last value. So for example, if I bring it here, this would now be the year to date, the total value, right? But if you want to display just the last element that is available in the card, you can click here. And now again, the display has changed and this is now the October value. So it's uh, 900 something um, uh, dollars, right? Which is the last point and the Zebra BI will automatically detect which is the last actual value on each card separately, right? So you just put it, put it, just click here and it will work automatically. All right, let's move on. Um, there are a couple of options here. So first of all, you can change the icons. Uh, you can have just simple circles, circles with arrows or triangles. And again, they are always scaled. So no matter what the icon is, Zebra BI makes sure that the size of the visualization will correspond to the actual data. Uh, next, of course, you can you know, make the chart, uh, make the uh, cards flat or have a certain shadow or just be more emphasized, even more shadow. And um, to show you the, the next thing, there's a completely separate layout, additional layout. So let me do this here. So you can switch from this card layout into the row layout. All right, so many of our users wanted some kind of a row layout where you have all the variances, everything is aligned, but you still have a little, a small little chart here that is actually called a sparkline, right? So we're bringing the sparklines here. And um, of course, again, here you can change the visualization. You can have small uh, area charts, small waterfall charts, and, and, and so on, right? So this also works. And all the interactivity here is enabled in this layout as well. So you can move the cards around. So reorder the um, your KPIs in you know your preferred order from the most important one to the least important one. Okay. Now back to the understanding uh, and back to the actionable actionable part, right? So um, it's very important for the user to understand what's going on. So that's why we are enabling a couple of things here. First of all, you can use report page tooltip. So you can design your custom tooltip and it'll work with all the cards here. Uh, so just move it, move it around. And now I see immediately more information in the tooltip, but this is not all. From each card, you can click on the drill through button and you can drill through to a detailed report. So let's see what's going on. Uh, with my monthly recurring revenue. All right, now I've got a detailed re uh, report with other visuals. In this case, it's a, it's a Zebra BI table visual right here and a Zebra BI charts visual here. So now I understand what's going on with my monthly recurring revenue. Um, it's, going, it's going down, right, like this. And now I see why, because the uh, cameras, product category, for example, is below the plan. So I can just click here, understand what's going on, see the trend for the cameras and so on, get an understanding and then back to my uh, initial report, which makes Zebra BI cards um, especially suitable for the landing pages. So, so we, we expect that this would be uh, really nice very first visual that, that people actually see in their dashboards. It works really well as uh, a landing page. All right. Um, maybe for more advanced uh, guys out there, um, the understanding of the values is very important. So for example, if I have um, 
new monthly recurring revenue and I compare that to churned monthly recurring revenue, right? The charts um, show me some trends and it looks like they are quite similar, right? Is this true? Well, it's 108 million here and 3300 million here, which means churned monthly recurring rate is much, much lower, less than a third. How do you make sure that the visual will properly display this? We have this option that we call scaled groups. All right, this is quite important. It's a little bit advanced, but it's extremely important. I simply take this, I simply select the cards that I want to put in this so-called scaled group. From now on, Zebra BI will make sure that the scaling is correct between those two cards, right? So this is how you create this group. And when you go back, the charts will be scaled, all right? And you can do the same for different groups of KPIs within your visual, right? So for example, the average, compare the average cost to customer acquisition costs, for example, I'll just do this once more. So you see now I have group number two and there's an unlimited number of groups here. So let me put this to this uh, group and I'll also change the color of this group just to make sure that I can distinguish between them later on. So now my costs are scaled here. I can understand that customer acquisition costs are just a part of my whole average uh, cost per customer, for example. All right, so there's a lot of uh, other functionality here. So we saw charts with, with bullet cards, uh, you know, cards without, without charts and very complex dashboards with scaled uh, charts all within one visual. This is quite important because as you see, this is blazingly fast. I mean, whatever you do here on the visual will change rapidly. And this is because all your KPIs are now on one visual, which means one load time and one render time. And that's like 10 times or 50 times faster than if you put, uh, you know, separate visuals on your page to represent your KPIs. So even the performance is, is really good. All right, um, this concludes my, my quick presentation here. Um, we hope that the Zebra BI cards visual will help you create landing pages, will help you with your data storytelling, uh, will help you make your board meetings much more effective and efficient. Uh, and the Zebra BI Cards visual now completes the set of the visualizations, the, the toolkits that Zebra BI is providing together with Zebra BI tables and Zebra BI charts. Now you have the all the options to make your dashboards very, very actionable. So we call it actionable reporting. Um, the visual is available on the Microsoft App Source. So please just import it into your Power BI uh, reports. Um, try it out, try it out and let us know what you think. Thank you so much.